Hello guys and welcome back to Engineering Hack, where we try to solve engineering problems in a way that's hopefully easy to understand. Today we're looking at a mass transfer problem. Once again we're back with the falling film evaporator. In this case, however, we're talking about an example in the dairy industry. If you don't know what a falling film evaporator is and you want to know, I'll leave a link to a previous video in which we go over that here for you. For this problem, statement reads. In a vertical falling film evaporator in the dairy industry, air at 40 degrees Celsius and 200 kilopascals flows through a wetted wall column of 200 millimeters diameter at a velocity of 2 meters per second. The molar weight or molecular weight of air is 29 grams per mole. What is the mass transfer coefficient for the humidification of air stream by evaporation from the wet walls? If the diffusion coefficient is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 meters squared per second, we are given a correlation for Sherwood number, which is 0 0.023 times Reynolds to the 0.83 times Schmidt to the 0.4. Okay, so what are we looking for? We're looking for the mass transfer coefficient. That's the K, right? That's the K that I'm going to call K subscript mass so that we don't get confused with the conductivity, thermal conductivity. How do we find that? Well, that we know that that K is related to Sherwood, correct? We know that that is related to Sherwood by K mass times my CL, in this case the diameter of the falling film evaporator, divided by my diffusivity. So what do we have there? We have a falling film evaporator. Let's try to draw that. Let's do a simplified falling from evaporator, we have probably milk coming down the side of the walls, and we have air that is removing probably water molecules from that milk or whatever product that is from the dairy industry, right? So it's trying to remove some of the water from the dairy and take that into the air. For that to happen, we need mo uh, mass transfer. We need molecules to go from the liquid into the air. Air is coming in at 2 meters per second. It's at 40 Celsius or 313 Kelvin. And when you're given the molecular weight of air as 29 grams, I'm going to go ahead and convert this into kilograms, so kilograms per mole. And we're also given the, the diffusion coefficient, which is you know, how easy it is for these molecules to go into this other uh, matter here, right? So how easy it is for, I'm assuming the mo water molecules go into the air molecules. Um, now, to do this, we need to find Sherwood. If we need to find Sherwood, we need Reynolds and Schmidt. To find Reynolds and Schmidt, we need, as per usual, our density, our diffusion velocity, which we have, the diameter, which is the characteristic length in a falling film evaporator. So this is a 200 mil tube, okay, and just to be clear, the uh, you know, this product, whatever it is, is going downwards whilst the air is going upwards. What else do we have here? We have a different pressure, right? We have a pressure of 200 kilopascals, and we need to account for that when we're calculating for density. And we're finding this for our viscosity. So, off the property table, I can grab uh, the density if I wish, and I need to grab the viscosity. If I don't want to get grab density from the property table, I can do as pressure divided by RT because air is approximately an ideal gas. And this would just be 200 times 10 to the third divided by ideal gas 8.313 times my 313. What would that give me? Well, let's check. I'm doing Pascal on the top because I did times 10 to the third. In the bottom there, I have joules per moles per Kelvin and then Kelvin. Okay, so we know the joules are going to cancel out the Pascal and leave us with meters cubed there. So this is going to be moles per meters cubed, which is fine. But if I want to have in kilograms, okay, so if I want to have that in kilograms, then I need to multiply once again by a uh, property that is kilograms per mole, which we do have, right? That's the molecular weight is here. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this by 29 times 10 to the minus 3. So that I can get my answer in kilograms per kilograms per meters cubed. 
Um, this guy cancels out, this guy cancels out. We're left with 2.228. I'm going to go ahead and do 2.23 kilograms per meters cubed. All right. Now, again, just to be sure, the other way of doing it is we interpolate over here, get it for 313, and then just multiply by 200 kilopascals, divide by 101.3. Uh, which is the atmospheric pressure in kilopascals, or in pascals, I should say. Um, okay, now next up is the dynamic viscosity. So we want to grab a value between 1.8 and 207. Okay, we're going to do that by interpolation. Once again, I'm not going to do it here because you guys are sick and tired of me doing it here. But if you're new to this, I'll leave a link here for you to see how to do it. When we interpolate this, we get approximately... Zero point, oh, sorry, one point. What did I get? One point nine oh six centimeters per hour. Okay, and this is in kilograms per meters per second. All right, with those two guys, now I can calculate Reynolds very happily. So, by the way, I'll do Reynolds 2.23. Multiplied by my 2 meters per second, multiplied by my 200 times 10 to the minus 3 meters, which is the diameter of my polyphenol evaporator, and divided by my 1.906 times 10 to the minus 5, which gives me about approximately 46807. Oh, no units there. What else? And you also need Schmidt. And to find Schmidt, what I'm doing is I'm doing the dynamic viscosity divided by my density times my difficulty. We have everything, so I'll put everybody happy here. Times 10 to the minus 5. We're dividing the whole thing by what we have there, 2.23. And then the diffusivity is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, so once again, non-dimensional. These guys go away. We're left with 0.712257. Let's go ahead and approximate this slightly to 7123. No non dimensional again. Okay, so no units there. Okay, and now, as simple as that, we can finish it off by calculating Sherwood and then finding K. So my Sherwood is too green. My Sherwood is given by the correlation of 0.23. Reynolds, let's put a, go ahead and put Reynolds here, so 0 0.46807 0 to the 0.83 times my Schmidt number, which is point, approximately 0 0.7123 and then 0.44 and this gave me about 149, so about 149. And now we know that this has to be equal to K mass, which is what we're looking for, mass transfer coefficient, times characteristic length, which in this case we know to be the diameter, divided by the diffusivity. We have everything we need except for what we're looking for. Right? So K mass, therefore, therefore is just the 149 times my 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 which is all divided by divided by the 200 millimeters, so 200 times 10 to the minus 3. Um, there's no units for Sherwood. This guy is meters squared per second. In the bottom there, we have meters in the diameter. So this is just going to be meters per second. And this is 8.94 meters per second. And that is our mass transfer coefficient, which is what the problem is asking us to find. Uh, times 10 to the minus 3. Oops. There you go. Okay. So, from this point on, what we could do, right, if we, we don't need to because the problem doesn't say anything, but what we could do is, given we had the delta C, the delta concentration, we can find what is the mass transfer by doing the K we just found times the area times a different concentration. Or alternately, alternatively, the other option is if you want to find mass flux, we just do K times the delta in concentration. So what, what would we need for that? 
you would need to zoom in here and know figure out you know what is the concentration in the air that's incoming so what's the concentration of uh, water in this uh, air that's coming in and what is the concentration of water in this product that's sliding through the evaporator so when we see that happening we can see you know what's the difference in concentration and therefore calculate the mass flux coming through the system okay hope this helped you out if it did consider liking the video if you have any questions as per usual just leave them down below and if not we'll talk soon